Hey guys, as y'all know, I've been doing quite a bit of hydroponic stuff lately, but it's always been inside a greenhouse where I've got a protected environment. I don't have to deal with the wind. I don't have to deal with any heavy rains and things do extremely well. But most people don't have a greenhouse and they wanna know, can you do this stuff outside? So about five weeks ago, I put these two boxes outside I was a little bit concerned about the rain because of the fact that the boxes would fill back up, but I wanted to see what would happen. I was concerned about the wind blowing the styrofoam all over the place, so I made some changes on these boxes. Instead of having the one by two strip on the outside, I went and put a one by four. That'll give me plenty of room to make a reveal where the styrofoam actually sits down inside. So I've got a one inch reveal right here matches up with the thickness of the styrofoam and the foam sits down inside of that so it's not going to move side to side. To keep the styrofoam from raising up what I did on the corners just cut me an angle piece and screw that right on top of the one by fours and the styrofoam with the one inch gap up under here actually slides right up into place and that will keep this thing from raising up. And on the other end of the box I just got a scrap piece made me a little turn lock out of it, and that keeps the foam from raising up on this end. So with the reveal right here, it can't go side to side, and with the angle brackets and this right here, it's not gonna be raising up. So I took care of the wind problem. In regard to the rain, that was definitely a concern, and two times we had very heavy rains out here, and the boxes filled back up, so I came in and just raised the uh, styrofoam up, it took me a big cup, and uh, scooped out enough to get the water level back down to where I thought it should have been. What happens if the water levels have gone down about halfway and then you suddenly fill this box back up, you end up drowning the roots. So I wanted to get the water back down to where the roots could keep on doing what they're supposed to do. Because of the additional rainwater that was uh, being poured into it and then me draining some off, the solution, I'm sure, is pretty well diluted, so that may have something to do with the overall growth. And as we always do, we check out what kind of situation it had with the roots, and you can see some uh, very healthy roots up under these things. Like I said, they've been in here uh, about five weeks, and I really haven't done anything other than the two instances where I came in with the cup and just scooped off this water to drop it back down. So to sum this up, yes indeed, you can take these boxes outside make a little bit of changes to the original design to make sure that the uh, styrofoam doesn't blow away. I do think some type of covering, uh, temporary awning or something on the top of them would certainly be a good idea to keep from filling the boxes back up and diluting the nutrient solution. But just like when I had them inside the greenhouse, this truly is a set it and forget it method. I've never had to do anything to them other than those two instances where I had to drain off some of the water because I knew based on the amount of rain that we had, those boxes should have been full, and they were. So I hope that was helpful. Y'all take care, and Lord willing, I'll see you next time. If you found this video to be helpful, informative, entertaining, or just downright funny, don't forget to subscribe. 